The next step for me was starting to go out and audition and work. And so my parents' rule was that I wasn't allowed to do that before I was 18. And I had to be in college. And so I was studying at USC and going out and just hustling. And especially during pilot season, you know, I was going to class, I was taking a full course load and then going to two, three auditions a day and, you know, driving around LA, just trying to figure out how to make it work. And I booked my first regular job on One Tree Hill and had to pack up my life and move to North Carolina in, I think it was like 15 or 16 days. Wow. Something crazy. And, but how long yeah. after getting into, you know, going to school and, and going to auditions, did that happen? Three years of being a full-time student and auditioning full-time as well. And it was nuts. And like the number of movies, you know, that it would get to me and one other person. Like it would be me and Jessica Biel, me and Lindsay Lohan. Like it was always down to me and someone who was more famous than me at that time. And, and there was something so frustrating about that, but also so encouraging about it. Because I was like, well, okay, if I'm the other person who they think could do this job as well as this very established person, then I'm doing something right. So I just, I just kept my head down and kept the auditioning up. And I was talking to a friend of mine recently who talked about how it took her 10 years of full-time hustle to, you know, be the lead on a TV show. And she was like, yeah, it took me 10 years to be an overnight success. And it's really true. You know, people don't see the years of the work that you have to put in. I think it's the same in the startup world. You know, you launch a successful company and nobody knows that it took you three years of sleeping on the floor of your office and five years at a hack job before that that you hated, you know, to, to make it work.